Hi, I'm Alex Ineco and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today's word is percussion. Since this is a channel that deals with fine art music, with uh, classical music, uh, we're going to deal with percussion in the fine art realm, okay, so orchestral percussion. The percussion section stays always in the back of the orchestra, okay, so you have strings, then woodwinds, then the brass, and then in the back you have percussion. Why? Because it's the loudest section, so it can be in the back and everybody will hear it, okay? Generally, the percussion section has one timpanist. What is a timpanist? He plays the timpani, which is plural for timpano, okay, which, is, uh, which are the tunable drums, okay? You can change the note of the timpani, okay? So, you usually you will hear, during the concert, you'll hear the timpanist with his ear close to the tympano, and he will be uh, dealing with the pedal, trying to find the correct pitch. Okay, um, usually the orchestra has two or three, even four or five uh, timpani. Uh, some symphonies, some great symphonies like Mahler 8, for example, calls for two sets of four timpani. It's amazing. Um, then, beyond the percussionist, beyond the timpanist, you have three or four other percussionists who play the triangle, uh, all sorts of marimbas and shakers. It's really interesting. But you also have, people normally don't think about percussion as melodic instruments or harmonic. Remember, marimba, xylophone, and all those types of, uh, glockenspiel, all those types of instruments which you play with the mallets, okay? So, this is the percussion section in the orchestra. 